What's up everybody? Chris again from ChrisTrolls.com. Today I want to show you how to disable this appearance editor in WordPress. You can see I have my WordPress here. It is pretty simple. It's basic. It's just 2015. Nothing is in it. I've done nothing to it. A lot of you know you could go to appearance editor and you could find the CSS. You could find the theme functions file. You could find your theme files. Ooh, look at all that goody goody good stuff. All right, so I'm using the child theme. That's the only thing I have done to this. Well, let's go over here since it has more eye candy to it <clears throat> and more files that are dangerous if you go and ruin. The thing is that you could do here is you can not only edit the CSS, but you can edit all this PHP stuff. All this code stuff that you probably, if you don't know what you're doing, then you just don't know what you're doing. And you can take down a site pretty fast. Let's see what um, what WordPress has to say about their appearance editor screen. Okay, they tell you what it's about, pretty much what I've told you. You can edit files, all the files, plugin files, theme files, WordPress files. Let's see, right down here, theme files. And some of the last thing it has to say is be careful, be very careful editing PHP files of your current theme. The editor does not make backup copies. If you introduce an error that crashes your site, you cannot. Can't, you can't just press undo, basically, is what they're going to tell you. Then you have to use your FTP program to go in there and uh, upload a new file or a backup file that you have. And this is why you make up backups, because if you do do something that crashes your site, you could go to your backup, pull out just that one file, and throw it back in and have your site up and running again. So let's say someone told you to go to your theme functions file and put this co cool code in there that gives you tons of traffic and all this good yummy stuff alright and you go in there and you're doing your best I'm not gonna actually add any code okay but you've done your best and you forgot one little thing and you just changed one line you press update sweet nope that didn't work so you can go back error is still there and it allows you to go back okay and you now don't know what you did okay because let's say this is a whole completely different file oh wait no you can't because you screwed it up you see you screwed up the site you broke the site with one error okay uh, it's not even going to allow us to put that error back in and update it it's the site's broken now so we need to go back to our FTP now which is what we should be using anyways and fix that error and uh, you know, basically, I have a I have a local installation of WordPress, so my site is example.dev, <clears throat> and so uh, my I don't I'm not using FTP. I'm using my files. The same thing, except for when you go into your FTP and you go and start grabbing your content, then you could grab it, bring it down into a text editor, which is what you should be doing, and have your information. So let's see. Let's go ahead and fix this bad boy. Just save um, and go and refresh our stuff okay. okay and it's fixed again and now we're back in and we have access okay so basically you should be using your text editor like this you see once I do that I could press undo and all that good stuff and it undoes things that I do and, I, and you know if I did a whole bunch of changes I could go back five steps if I need to. The funny thing is let me tell you is I do do this I remove this editor and you know the other day I was working on a site that I'm running by myself this is a side project but it's live and I'm editing it in the editor where I shouldn't be I'm editing it in here and I'm going to my CSS and changing CSS and the site crashed on me and I was clueless as what I did wrong trying to go back and it was just like an oh gosh moment you know am I gonna have to redo this all over again is it lost that shows you just this shows you just how quickly you can go and ruin your site because you're doing things basically you shouldn't be doing okay and so now also if you're a developer and you're developing sites for people this is something that you might want to do to avoid a lot of those things as well WordPress itself says it's uh it's a little risky now here's the other thing of why it's risky so if someone does hack into your site if someone does get a hold of your laptop and your password and stuff like that and get into your wordpress well now they can come in and have access to all your your wordpress and your php files and they can put in malicious code and do things like steal information put in 
switch out your affiliate codes and stuff like that and redirect all kinds of just nastiness all right and that's this is the last place you want them to gain access to with that said part of wordpress's security and hardening wordpress in their codex they even talk about coming way down here they talk about disabling the file editing okay so the the wordpress dashboard by default allows the administrator to edit php file but not really okay because it's just not the best way to be doing it it's so easy to add this line of code you put this in your wp config.php file and it hides the editor you can still access the files to through php and do your editing that way and you're developing that way and that's like I said before, it's the best way to go about doing it. So let's go ahead and grab this code. What we're going to do, and we're going to go to our functions PHP file. Now, this is my functions PHP. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go do that one. But what you can do is you can go to your theme and add it into the functions PHP file, and it works as well. According to what WordPress is saying, what we'll use is the WP config. Dot PHP file. And we'll drop that into our editor there. There we go. And we are just going to go ahead and drop that bad boy. Let's put it down here at the end. Paste it and save it. And we'll come over here. I don't have FTP to, to uh, send stuff over. So I just come over here and I refresh it. It's a live site because I'm in the editor. All right. So I'm going to go back, go to my admin panel. So my site's still there. You see the site's still working. But what is gone now is the option to edit. So the editor panel is now gone if someone does hack your site they don't have access to those files okay so that's a great simple one-liner add it to the very last line of your wp.config-config uh, file and you'll be good to go I would really recommend it I've been doing it on all my sites and uh, you know if you don't have access to your PHP and your code and you're not sure what's all that about and you're concerned about your WordPress you know, contact someone to do that. Hit me up in the comments below. Write me an email, chris at chrisdrolls.com. I hope you like this video. I hope you go out there and disable your editor today. Subscribe if you like this for more videos. And I'll talk to you later. Aloha.